Hi, I'm Madhuri Perry from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to show you how to mix Amazon EC2 Spot Instances and on-demand to maximize cost savings. Spot Instances are spare compute capacity in the AWS cloud, available to you at steep discounts compared to on-demand prices. The only difference between on-demand instances and Spot Instances is that Spot Instances can be interrupted with two minutes of notification when on-demand needs capacity back. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Spot Fleet request with Spot and on-demand instances, launch template, load balancer, and request fulfillment parameters. Let's get started. In the AWS console, choose EC2 service under the compute category. This will take you to the EC2 dashboard. In the left-hand navigation pane, click on the Spot request. In the page here, you will see all the Spot requests in this account. You can see the status of each of these requests like fulfilled, pending fulfillment and others. Note here that the request ID shows whether this was a spot fleet request as you can see with the prefix of SFR or a spot instance request with the prefix of SIR. Now click on the request spot instances button. These spot fleet requests can be made for either one time which is called request mode or request and maintain, which is called maintain mode. In request mode, Spot Fleet will make your request only once. In request and maintain mode, Spot Fleet will not just request it, but will also attempt to maintain your target capacity at the specified level. Let's choose this option of request and maintain for our walkthrough here. In the amount section here, the total target capacity specifies number of instances you want to launch. I'm going to enter a value of three here and specify that I want one instance of this total capacity running as on-demand portion. You could also provision capacity by vCPUs or instances by choosing value from dropdown. Here we choose a pre-existing launch template that I created. Launch templates enable users to specify multiple parameters that are required for launching EC2 instances in a templatized manner. You can override the template parameters except the AMI ID. Let's select a few instance types. A recommended best practice is to choose multiple instance types, so Spot Fleet will attempt to find and fulfill instances across any of these types to fulfill the specified target capacity above. Choose the network availability zones. Let's define a load balancer for this workload. Spot Fleet will register the instances launched to this load balancer. As you can see here, you could register with a classic load balancer or application load balancer as defined by target groups. I'm going to choose a target group here. Let's specify how you would like your spot request to be fulfilled. This section will define further how you want your EC2 spot instances to be fulfilled. Allocation strategy provides two options, lowest price and diversified. Lowest price option will specify that you want the lowest price instance to be chosen from the instance types list you provided above. Diversified option will tell Spot Fleet that you want to balance Spot instances across availability zones and instance types available. Maximum price specifies the maximum you are willing to pay per unit or instance hour for all the instance types you specified above. Default option would charge you the current EC2 spot price up to maximum of on-demand price. Your custom price could be specified by choosing the set your max price option. IAM fleet role specifies the role that spot fleet uses in order to fulfill the request. As you see here, a JSON config is generated for you that you could use to specify all these parameters via CloudFormation template for future automation. You can optionally edit how long this request is valid. We leave it at defaults and launch the spot fleet. You will see the state is submitted. As the state transitions to active, you will see that the status changes to pending fulfillment. This means that Spot Fleet has validated your request and now it is looking for capacity to fulfill total target capacity based on the criteria we specified earlier. 
As you see now, the spot fleet request here shows status of fulfilled. Now, if you expand this here, you will see that it has only two spot instance requests, which tells you that the request was fulfilled with two EC2 spot instances and one on-demand instance as we specified earlier. If you click on the Instances tab here, you will see all three instances. Notice how the request ID shows that two of these are spot instance requests and the other one is on demand, as shown as non-spot. In this video, I've shown you how to create a spot fleet that has total target capacity defined as both spot and an optional on-demand capacity. To learn more about EC2 Spot, visit the URL at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.